Uh oh. Hi. Surprise. Hello. Okay, so since today was a little bit tricksy, I thought I'd come on and do another one because some people have said that um, they understand it, but they just would like to see it again. Hi again, George. So I thought I'd do one more so y'all can have a look. Um, but I don't really remember what color I used. I think it's this one. So maybe I could do one up here. I kind of started using just like any old color I wanted for the outlines. Um, just whichever ones I found basically in my scraps pile. I put them all here. So these are all the colors I've been using. Not those. Those are for a hoop. Ooh, do you have a phone stand? Do you have your phone on a stand? If so, which one? I love it. Um, I have an old Banks one, B-E-N-K-S. I got it from, oh, I don't remember where I got it from, but I wouldn't really recommend it um, only because it's got this gooseneck, yeah? So every time that you, you uh, nudge it, which I do all the freaking time. Um, it makes your whole video wobble. So I'm looking for one that has a stiff arm, like this kind of situation, you know, where it goes straight up from the table, straight over, and maybe straight down, and then I can clip my phone onto it so that it w maybe it won't go as much, you know? I don't know. We'll see. I keep looking for one. The one I wanted last year, they don't make it anymore. Um, they didn't... They didn't uh, ship to the UK, so I was going to get it when I went to America last year, but um, they stopped making it. <laughs> so when I got to America, I was like, I'm going to order this, and it's been out. It's been completely sold out, and like they don't know when it's going to be back in stock. So I've just kind of given up on that. Um, maybe I'll do this color. How about that? And I'm going to turn the light on as well and see if... What's going on here? See if that will help because it's really cloudy. It's not very nice. So let's do this. An afternoon live, your time, yes. I don't know if it will help at all. Maybe a little bit it will. Okay. So just as a reminder, this is the Pico Stitch, P-I-C-O-T, like Picot but it's Pico, and you need an extra needle for this one. And I'm gonna do mine, um, maybe I'll do it down here. Just right here. So I don't have like the green and green on top of each other, these ones. So I'll do it over here. So you need to put a needle in where you want um, the very tip of your leaf to go yeah so if you want the tip to be really long if you want to be a long one make it taller if you want to be short make it shorter that pretty self-explanatory but it's a little bit weird when you have to go into other things to make it that way do you know what i mean are you going to stitch the top of the leaf into the fabric or is just going to be hanging there i'll probably just do one little baby stitch here, but I want to wait until after I do my fish. Yeah? Because then I can move out of the way to finish my fish. And then when my fish is finished, I can like lay it on there however I feel like. So it can go a little bit to the left or a little bit to the right. Also, Hannah, I did see that you said that you found your wedding dress. And I'm not going to lie, I've been thinking about it ever since you said you were going. So on Saturday when you were like, oh my gosh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm so nervous, blah, blah, blah. Literally all day Sunday, I was like, I wonder if she found one. I wonder, I wonder. So I'm going to make this one quite long. Okay, let me zoom it in. What kind of colors do you use for water? So that's watercolors. I'm not being sassy. That's what it is. <laughs> it's 
we watercolored <laughs> those ones. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to make this one a little bit wide as well. Up here and around. I'm going to send you a pic. Oh my gosh. I promise I won't show anyone. I'm so excited to see it though. Like you have no idea. Okay, let's move this up and tighten this a little bit so it won't be bendy. Okay. You're so sweet. Thank you for thinking of me. I I really didn't think I would like wedding dress shopping. I'm not going to lie, but I actually really did. And it's much different than bridesmaid shopping because like when you get a bridesmaid's dress, like... You kind of have to like do whatever the other person does, you know, whatever the other person says, like whatever the bride wants. But when it's your dress, it's like you can pick whatever you want, whatever you think looks good. Okay. So I'm just going to go. Remember, whichever way you choose, right to left or left to right, it really doesn't matter. You just want to get that first one really up there. And you can kind of tell from this one that I did, I didn't get it up very high. There's like a little loop on the end. Yeah. So this right here would, would you benefit with um, having a really thin needle at the top or even like a pin. So I know some people use a pin at the top, but I don't have any pins because I tuck them all away with my sewing stuff. So there you go. I love that color. Yeah, me too. I think I used it up here as the outline. You can't see where I'm pointing, but these ones. What is this magic? We're weaving. We're doing a little woven stitch. I might actually change to that dull needle that I showed you earlier because this is doing me head in, having to go around that. Where are you? Well, maybe I won't be doing that. Because I can't find it. Okay, a big tip for needles is that if you have scissors laying about, okay, a lot of scissors are slightly magnetic. Yeah, so sometimes if you're looking for your needles, they might be stuck to your scissors. Which is not the case this time, but... I just thought I would tell you. It's not even my embroidery ball. My needle ball. Well, I guess I won't be changing. Because I can literally only find this one, so. I'll just freak out later as I play The Floor is Lava, but the stabby version. <laughs> That's annoying. I was like the perfect little tapestry needle too. Last look. Can't find it. Oh well. But there's a lot of things that are magnetic that you don't even realize, like your iPad. If you have a, a lot of times they have like magnetic covers. So you like look on the edges of all of those as well, because sometimes your needles can be stuck there. I just know all the good spots for needles to go. All the cool hangs, you know? Oh, well. I gave it a, a good, a good go. I love the purple and blue coral next to the leaf too. This one. Yeah. I do like that. And I like the colors together. 
which I didn't think that I would. I thought maybe they'd be a little bit too similar. Because sometimes if you pick two colors that are too similar, they almost like... They like don't pop, you know? Ooh, Mary says, do you tack them down somewhere when you've done or leave, when you're done or leave them loose? So this is what I do with mine. So I've got these ones that I use all the time. So this is like the sword. That's what I call it because normally in the stitch alongs, um, I use it to like point things out because it's so big. You can see it a lot better than the regular needles. And then I've got my one needle for one strand. Good evening, Veronica, which is here. It's so tiny. Yeah, and then I've got this one for two or three strands, and that's normally in there. And then normally the blunt needle's in there. And then this one for these ones. Oh, you mean the seaweed. Let's see. The seaweed. Look at me, I'm just going on and on and on about all of my needles. Not everything is about you, Tori, okay? Chill. Okay, let me pu put this one back in. Um, that's completely up to you, Mary. If you wanna tack them down, then you can. I'll probably tack this one down because he seems to be a bit um, like an appendage that I don't wanna say, you know? Because like children, you know? Um, so I'll probably tack him down when I get the fish finished. Yeah, but it's up to you whether you want to tack them at the very tip. If you do, I would use the same color thread so you can't see it as much. Jamie T says, I need to stop stitching in bed. I jumped into bed after going to the toilet in the night and a needle stabbed me right in the knee. Well, that's a surprise. Just always keeping it interesting, you know? <laughs> Mary's laughing at my bad joke. And the fact that I thought she was talking about my needles and not the seaweed. It's gonna drive me crazy though if I can't find that needle because Jesse, at least it's not sharp. You know what I mean? At least it's a blunt one. So if she does find it, It won't be that bad, maybe. Although someone said that their cat was playing with um, the thread and the needle that were, was like with that project. So they put like the thread and the needle like this, but like with the project, you know, like in the out, like here, like that. And their cat came and played with it and swallowed the needle somehow. And the cat had to poop it out. Everything was fine. I don't know how everything was fine, but it was. How scary is that? It absolutely terrify me. So yeah, after I heard that, I was a bit like, ooh, not gonna happen to me. Maybe. We'll see, won't we? Okay, something I, I definitely forgot to mention earlier is that because these are just woven on these three little pieces of thread, you do have to be a little bit careful when you're moving these things around. Yeah, because you can actually pull them up really easily so just be a little bit careful with these here once they're finished I don't think you can do like a lot of harm but never say never right because you just never know
She says, wow, I used to work in a vet's and seen cat versus needle and thread before, but maybe I need to rethink my needle storage just to leave my needle in the work on the side too. Yeah, that's a little, like, I always do that. Like, I always leave my needle in the side. Um, and it does scare me sometimes. Like, I think, thankfully, Jesse isn't that inquisitive about this, to be fair. Like, she pretty much... It's the same with, like, laptops or iPads. Like, she'll sit on them. She has no... Like, unless you're a human, she has, like, no real interest in anything that you've got. Unless it's, like, treats or her food or, like, ice cream. But, like, electronics or, like, your clothes. Anything like that. She's just does not care. She's like, no, nah, I'll sit on it. Whatever. And that's what I'm a little bit afraid of because she won't play with it per se, but she'll definitely like lay all over it or sit on it or like try and move it out of the way. Like if she's trying to get comfortable. So that's kind of like what I'm with Jesse at least, you know. So yeah, we're just David's at rugby training tonight, and it's basically like a bunch of people six feet apart doing a workout together because obviously we still have to be like social distancing and stuff he said that he thinks they're gonna try and sanitize the balls so that they can at least throw a ball back and forth (laughs) how silly is that So I don't know. I don't know if he's going to do that or not. But I know he's going to do the, the little workout on the rugby pitch. My first live. Woo woo. There you go. This is really good um, if you if your aim is to like be ambidextrous because you can use your left hand a lot if you pass it back and forth instead of using your right hand for the whole time. I should say your non-dominant hand. God, Jesse's hairs are everywhere. Here in the States, we have to sanitize the baseballs between innings and the bats. It's crazy. I bet. Yeah, like they're not doing games at the moment for rugby. Um, Because you like have to be a lot closer in rugby than you do with baseball. Um, But they're still doing training and stuff so that they can try and keep fit. And then obviously David's a teacher and they're not teaching anymore because it's the summertime now here. Like his last day was Friday, so it's only like just finished. Um, so yeah, he's like, I don't, I don't want to get fat over the summer. From inactivity. But to be fair, I could... I could care less. <laughs> I don't care what he looks like. I think he just likes to feel fit. Do you know what I mean? Sorry, this is so slow, guys. I said earlier I really wish I could like speed this up so that you guys didn't have to watch the thread going back and forth back and forth like a thousand times being like we we get it we get how to do it okay can you just chill and obviously with the blunt needle you don't have to be so careful like you do with um 
the sharp one because you really don't want to go into the fabric at all until the very end. So if you see, <laughs> sorry. So if you see, the only place I've gone into the fabric is with this needle here and then down at the bottom. So all of this is free to move around. Jamie T says, are you both still enjoying the bike? Yes. Actually, um, we've cycled pretty far on the bike. <laughs> on the, If you're new or if you didn't know, I bought um, us a exercise bike. And it's one, it's like not the cheapest one, but it's like far from the most expensive. I think it was like 300 quid. So it's still like a pretty penny. Yeah. I wouldn't go like buying that all willy nilly, but I got an exercise bike because I am so out of shape. You have no idea. Like I'm talking about, um, like cardiovascular health and like getting some movement in. My dad's just called. I knew he was going to call. I just knew it. Uh, sorry. He'll just keep calling too. Can you guys see and hear and everything still? Yeah, I hope so. Well, I'll just keep talking anyways. Um, yeah, so because I like sit and stitch for a, a long time, like every day, I don't really get out of the house much. I don't have a car. I can't leave. There's not really, there's not really a lot I can do. And, um, so I got this exercise bike to try and like get my cardiovascular health back because, oh my goodness. So the first time I went on the bike, I went on there, um, for like four minutes <laughs> and I was breathing. Like I just ran the London marathon twice. I like my lungs were on fire. Like I could, like my legs felt like jelly. It was it was so bad. And I was just like this, oh my gosh, I'm so glad I got this because I didn't realize like how much it affects you, you know, just sitting down all day. Like I, I, like I don't even really go for walks that much. If I do, it's to take Jesse around the block and it's like not very far. And now I can get up to like 15 minutes at a time before I'm like, I'm done. <laughs> I'm really done. But yeah, it's been really good. I highly, highly recommend it. Um, it wasn't very hard to put. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. It wasn't hard to put together either, which sometimes um, because the bike comes in pieces, you know, you have to like put it together in your house. Uh, sometimes they can be a little bit difficult to put together. So I put it together by myself. And we've used it like every single day. It's been so good. Okay, so when you get down to the end, you wanna make sure all those lines are covered up just like in the woven wagon wheel rows. So if you've still got some, and if you, if you can still see them, then squeeze a couple more in there just to make sure that you can't see them anymore. which is a little bit tricky because obviously we're, we've got this other thing here, you know, that's probably all right. Yeah, I highly recommend it. So we got ours on Amazon um, and it comes with an app that you can go cycling in all these different countries. So it's like people have taken a video of themselves cycling. So you see, it's like you're on a bike yourself. So I've gone cycling in like Paris and in China, Australia, all kinds of places. So I know like 300 is a lot, a lot of money, but the next lowest one was like 125. So really 
I mean, for what it is, I, I think it's like worth it. But let me tell you, I'll show it to you guys later. Okay, so I'm going to go back down over here, just on the side. And then obviously you can do a knot. It's just about this time, every single time, my mouth starts getting really dry. And then I'm afraid that you guys can hear me like swallowing and everything. It's disgusting. <clears throat> All right. So let me zoom back out. You can hear the neighbors next door. All right, and then we're gonna take this needle out at the top. And there we go. Obviously, I've caught it, look. Man. I've gone through, see? So it can't flop all the way down. Don't do that. So I've, I've caught it through when I was weaving this strand right here, see? That's okay. And then, I found out that if you do the satin stitches afterwards, it's way, way easier. So if you want to do uh, the satin stitches in the back and fill in this right here, um, you absolutely can. Please do. Um, but if you do them afterwards, it's way easier. So there's my little trial and error. Also, I think, see this one, when I had the three spokes... This one, I went through the middle one first. And this one, I went through the outside one first. So I think if you go through the outside one first, it works a little bit better. Yeah, because you get that like nice tip on the end. Now, if you want to, um, like I said earlier, you can tack these down. And I would use the same color thread as you've used for whatever color you use as for the leaves. Um, and just do one little stitch wherever you want it to lay. So if you want it to be a little bit humped up like that, yeah, then tack it down over here or you can overlap it over here. Completely up to you. Um, you can see I did go back and do some satin stitches over the fish. I think it looks so cool. So there you are. I will love you and leave you. So I hope you have a good evening. That one little is gonna just drive me crazy, this little one right there that just didn't quite go all the way around. So yeah, I hope you have a great evening. And I can't wait to see your little woven picot leaves, seaweed, stems. I don't know. But I will talk with you guys later, okay? Bye. Ooh, Mary says, wait, love these. Can't wait to try when the girls go to bed. <laughs> Good luck. All right, bye.